Hey, 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 Wheat Field. Welcome to the Wheat Field. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you. Welcome, welcome to the Wheat Field. Welcome back, my wheat. How y'all doing? Pray the day is great. Welcome if you knew. Welcome, welcome, welcome to you too. Happy Holidays. I pray that it has been beautiful, that you feel loved and, and just surrounded with friends and family and comfort. And if it happens to be the opposite where you don't feel the connectivity, because the holidays is just not for everybody. It's really, really not. Know that I am with you. I'm with you in spirit. My heart is with you. My love is with you. My compassion for you is present. And you are not alone, beloved. You are not alone. The Most High is with you. It is. It is always. So I pray that you can feel that and that you know that. And that, uh, yeah. You find a way to make this day special and, and commemorative of everything that you've gone through this past cycle. And that is pretty much what I wanted to pop in and just talk about. Just got to give that disclaimer. Y'all know how it go. Welcome to this space. This is Tears and Weed to Roll show. Well, you're showing up. Never know what you're going to get. No, because this right here, beloved, to what? like a whole box of chocolates you just never know you just never ever know uh if you knew again welcome this is a free and open space it is it's a free and open space we recognize every single pathway to the most high god yes and since we are all on our way it is a journey and that journey is personal to each and every one of us as we are all pixels of the source the most high god working its way back to our home to be whole to feel engulfed at home in peace in love and connectivity so i reach out to any one of us who feel disconnected know that you are whole you are held in the entire spectrum of creation you can never be anywhere else you are included and you are with us and we are with you i just wanted to share that because i think it's so important because today can be a very difficult and challenging day the conformity of the season has called us to a space where we feel like we must perform in certain ways, like uh, spend a whole bunch of coin to make other folks feel a certain kind of way. Um, and when people don't reciprocate that, it can make you feel a certain kind of way. If there aren't a lot of people around you today to go through those traditions and practices that are like you know so common it can make you feel isolated if you are missing physicality of a loved one a parent a child a sibling and i mean whoever was close to you that was is a part of this time this celebration and you are unable to connect with them and feeling like things will never be the same Again, I'm with you. The connections are still here. And your person, spiritually, is still in creation. You can reach out to them, spirit to spirit. No matter how difficult that may prove to be, depending on where you're at in your process of grief. I pray for you in my spirit and I pray that you can feel the hope and the ability to to go on to grow to continue to have the experience for those who cannot one of the things that I am so grateful for um, having the gift of being a channeled messenger 
is knowing that my ancestors can experience creation still in life in this capacity through me. So being a walking and living legacy for them, it is an honor. It is an honor. It pushes me to review not only what I've gone through to see how I can transmute that energy and birth something new, but also to allow, you know, what is it they would have liked to do? What is it that I can still experience on their behalf? And give that out and give it back to serve it back. I've received so much from my ancestors, for my forerunners, that to sit in this space and experience creation on their behalf, it is an honor to do the things that they dreamed for us to do. How many of them dreamed to sit in our seats? How many of them wished that for us? And in every capacity, we have the ability to, to, to strive for that, to manifest it. And the things that we have gone through, these emotions and experiences, emotions that we feel, experiences that we've gone through, that whole track is now behind us. And to learn from it, we can let the real of it play. And we can see it. We can observe it. We can look at it and just say, huh. That's an interesting movie. And it, it definitely pulled out some emotions. And those emotions are guiding me along my way. My way to what? So that you can follow your joy. That's what we were talking about. Our ancestors having the ability to experience joy as you follow your joy. To be the dream that they dreamt. To fulfill that. I know my ancestors dreamt of doing the things that I do on a daily basis. And to sit in the position to allow to myself to be the manifestation of their dream is an honor. But also to do the work of transmuting the energy, the weight of the journey, the things that I've picked up along the way, to take that those experiences and extract the energy, extract the nourishment from that so that I can place that nourishment on self and become stronger. We, because we're called for good bread, to edify self, to edify self. So in this season of winter and hibernation, acknowledging the gift of giving, I acknowledge what I have received so far and I also acknowledge my ability to break down those things every bit of it just as the trees now are breaking down the leaves the earth is breaking them down they've fallen away from the tree and now they are covered with the snow and underneath that snow the moisture will disintegrate those leaves. It'll break it down and it'll go into the earth and the earth will use it to strengthen the roots. So how can you use your experiences to strengthen your roots? So you can take that nourishment up, those nutrients, and bud new leaves in the spring. What will you sow? Will you sow joy? Or will you sow content? Will you sow beautiful vibrations? Or will you sink to the depths and remain? It's all about your ability to transmute your energy. To transmute your experiences. To extract the nourishment. So that you can be the fulfillment of their dreams. And Father agrees. My own energy. My own energy. 
I love being there for friends, family, but while staying true to myself. I don't let the other's energies or moods affect my own. You don't let other energies or the other's mood affect your own. To help a friend in a hole, I don't need to jump in the hole. I simply reach out a hand and it's up to them to do the rest. Can we think about it and the fact that you don't need to jump in everybody else's ish? to maintain your own energy, right? You can give advice, but, you know, detach from how they use it. Gratitude is here also as well. Another part with using your own energy is the fact that you've had a lot of energy pushed at you. So to transmute that energy, to transmute it, transform it, to discern it, and determine what's you, what's for you, and what's good for you, again, extraction. And use it for your own benefit. Yeah. So that you can, again, you want this one? You can do this. Do your best with it. We, all under, we are all doing our best with the understanding and awareness that we have in this moment. Any decision I take is okay. Uh, any decision I take is okay, no matter the outcome. No matter the outcome. So whatever decisions you've made over the season, know that you've done your best. You did your best in the moment and for which you made the decision. And each outcome is okay. It is. I make the best of any situation and I learn as I grow. Again. Tis the season to transmute, to see what it is that you've gone through, to just let it roll by. No judgment, no attachment, just see it and know that you've done your best. And determine what did I learn from it, extract the learning experience from it. That right there, which you'll keep because you'll use that energy to birth anew. And having gratitude for that, back to this gratitude. I love acknowledging all the little things I am grateful for, no matter what I have going on. No matter what. No matter who. Gratitude. I always have things to be thankful for. Always have things to be thankful for. The beating of your heart. The breath in your lungs. The ability to feel the ability to just persevere, to stand, to be in the rhythm, to be in the flow, to experience creation itself is gratitude. Whenever I am feeling upset, I can fill up a whole page of things with the, that I appreciate. I can list out a whole page of appreciation. This begins to shift my mood and focus onto that which brings me joy. Again, so in this season, shift your focus. You can see the events of the cycle roll by, but don't be attached to them. Just see it and have gratitude for it all, no matter what it is. Praise through it all. Yes. The better it gets. The better it gets, beloved. When things happen that cause me to feel good, I know that there are so much more good feelings that are coming my way, and it gets better and better and better, and I keep rising up. But I also hear the opposite. No matter how bad things may seem right now, how low the depths of it, know that there is an opposite on that same spectrum. There is an opposite. As deeply as you feel the hurt, it's as deeply as you can feel the joy. The depths of your pain reveal to you the depths of your love experience. How deeply you can love. How deeply you can experience joy and compassion and understanding. They are there. There's always a balance. And to come to base, to ground, first, 
we must be able to see and see in a way that you observe self without attachment, without judgment. And to do that is to just be, to be. And that gives you what we are talking about? The opportunities for growth, to grow. Everything is happening for me and my evolution. I am not a victim of the things that happen, no. I take ownership of my life and make the best of my challenges, yes. I make the best of my challenges along my journey. I see how the difficult moments help me to become the best version of myself and I am thankful for them. These are the blessings that I pray on to you. I pray for your strength and for your perseverance and to keep it in the remembrance in your heart and in the forefront of your mind that you are not alone. You are not alone. You are connected. You are whole. And you are home. Yes, now. And to the next now on the Tears of We Tarot show with your girl IT, well, you never know what you're going to get. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you. Ashe.